New Glen lifts off from Launch Complex 36 on Cape Canaveral. One. Seven BE-4 engines will ignite and propel the rocket upward with over 3.8 million pounds of thrust, or roughly 17,000 kilonewtons. The vehicle will quickly reach supersonic speeds as it climbs through the atmosphere. As the rocket ascends, it will encounter maximum aerodynamic pressure, known as Max-Q, at around 40,000 feet, or 12 kilometers. This is the point at which the stress on the vehicle is at its highest. Around three minutes into the flight, the vehicle will turn off its engines, marking the end of the boost phase. Shortly after, the reusable first stage will separate and begin its journey back to Earth. Two BE-3U engines on the second stage will ignite and propel it onward into orbit with the payload. The reusable booster reorients in the vacuum of space using its reaction control system. At 220,000 feet or 67 kilometers, it executes an exo-atmospheric deceleration burn using its center three engines. These engines gimbal for maximum control of the booster. This burn slows the vehicle down before re-entering the atmosphere. As it descends, the booster's strakes and fins work together to slow it down and guide it autonomously back to Earth, landing on a vessel at sea. At around 9,000 feet, or just under 3,000 meters, the first stage begins its final landing burn. The three middle engines will light for 20 seconds, slowing the vehicle in preparation for the final descent. The two outer engines will turn off, and the center engine will execute the final controlled maneuver onto the landing platform. The vessel will return to Cape Canaveral to prepare for its next mission. Meanwhile, in space, the second stage will continue to power the payload towards its final orbit. At around 400,000 feet or 120 kilometers, the payload fairings will jettison. New Glenn will deliver an unprecedented range of payloads. Large satellites, dual payloads, orbital vehicles, large constellation dispensers, even moon landers destined to establish permanent human presence on the moon. Once it arrives at its insertion location, the payload will separate from New Glenn's second stage. The second stage can easily maneuver to deliver any payload to any required orbit. This is New Glenn. This is how we will build a road to space.